He double dipped the chip. It's not Reese's, it's Reese's. Reese's Pieces. I watch My 600 Pound Life. If that's not educational, I do not know what is. I would say that I'm a pretty patient person. There's only like a few things, like a few things that really annoy me. Like slow walkers, aka the Sunday drivers of walking. You're not even old. Being told that your username or password is incorrect. Just pick one. You can't pick both. Internet, you can't do that. When breaking news interrupts your freaking TV show. I do not care about a fire. I don't care what you have to say, president. I don't care about that freaking protest. I don't care. I just want to watch Dr. Phil. Nope. Stop wasting my time that I am already wasting. And speaking of television, um, people who say, oh, I don't watch television. Like it's like below them or something. I watch My 600 Pound Life. If that's not educational, I do not know what is. People who seal Ziploc bags when they haven't squeezed out all the air first. Come on, when I bite into a peanut M&M and there is no peanut inside. No, bitch. That's a plain m and I did not buy plain m and I bought peanut m and You bet there better be a freaking peanut in every single M&M in that bag. People who say what's up instead of hi or hello. Or what's even worse when people say, dude, what's good? When people write bah ha ha ha. What the f is that? No one laughs like that. Pretty much every workout video because the instructor is always smiling. I am not smiling. I am dying here on these last five crunches. When you have to constantly adjust the volume of a movie because the music is so freaking blaringly loud and then the dialogue is like the volume of a freaking dog whistle. The people in the mall kiosks that sell those stupid hair straighteners, no matter if you avoid eye contact, they just walk up to you anyways and ask, Excuse me, can I ask you a question? You just did, bitch! Back off! You know, there was always that one kid in class that when the teacher was taking attendance, Instead of saying here, like a normal person, they would say, present. Don't do that. You are just asking to be beaten up during recess. When people call guacamole guac, Reese's instead of Reese's, it's not Reese's, it's recess. Reese's pieces. When people say supposedly instead of supposedly, especially instead of especially, there's no X. And especially when autocorrect won't leave me alone. People who think Beyonce is like queen of everything, even though she's not that, I mean, she's an okay singer. She's not like Oprah. <laughs> Salads with fruit or berries in them. Lettuce does not belong with strawberries or blueberries. When I see couples in movies or TV shows, and the actor playing the guy is like at least 10 or 15 years older than the actress. You ain't fooling me, okay? Like I know that Mark Wahlberg is like 15 years older than Amanda Seyfried, okay? I hate bananas. I will never eat the banana. That's like the one food you will never ever hear or see me eat because they taste like shit. When people say, oh yeah, I don't really like bananas either, but this banana cake or this banana bread is different and you should try it. If you said you don't like poop and I said, hey, I don't like poop either, but this poop pie is different, so you should try it. Would you eat it? Double dippers. He double dipped the chip. When people still try to hide their texting in pitch black movie theaters, come on. Pretty much every time I decide to go on Netflix and look for something to watch and all it ends up being is me scrolling through tons and tons of different options that I could watch, but no, there might be something better to watch. And I end up doing this for about 30 to 45 minutes and then I'm like, screw it, I'm just gonna watch TV. When I have several notifications on my Facebook app and I go to check them and they're all something to the effect of so-and-so who you barely even know liked this post in this group that you don't even care about. What? And the fact that Facebook makes it impossible to figure out how to not get these notifications ever again and when you say I don't want to see this notification ever again you still get those same notifications. 
too much acronym talking, especially online. You are throwing your years of two to six out the window because you are you just are too lazy to say every single word. SMH. People who can never admit that the things that they have said in the past were wrong. When people do not put that separator thing on the conveyor belt after unloading all of their groceries. Common courtesy, guys. People who talk on their phones in public like they're in a freaking heavy metal concert. Grocery clerks that use a plastic bag for every like two or three items. People who use the phrase 110% or more than that. You can never give 110%. Just say 100%. Movie talkers. What did she say? I knew that was gonna happen. Oh my god, that was so funny. I don't understand what's going on. Don't talk to me. Department store signs that say $5 and up. I'm not gonna look because I know that everything on that rack is probably gonna be $60. And Steve Harvey. And that's about it, you know? So yeah, that's like my short list. It's a very short list, I know. Those are the only things I can think of at the moment. Have a happy day. few things that annoy me.